just thank you for giving us the privilege to be here. Uh, the settlement board for uh, Maryville. We pray that the decisions we make will be pleasant to your eyes in the way that you would have your will to be. We just pray for our town, Lord, that uh, we can be productive and uh, here in the seat that we got going on now, we pray for the, uh, the elders and things and just pray that uh, anybody that's needing any assistance that period, try to notify us and we we'll try to do what we can. We pray that uh, you just I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
and this will be from August 26 to August 28. And uh, 6 30 is prayer meeting, 7 o'clock is the preaching. Uh, Brother Alan Gimmick, pastor from River Hill Baptist Church, Fulton, Missouri, will be the preacher. And it starts at uh, 7 o'clock. And on Friday, uh, the 28th, they're going to have a meal there. I would I was say it's probably after the service. Yeah, and uh, anybody needs a ride, uh, can call 825 6511. If you need a ride, call 825 6511. There's some flyers over there on the table. I'm going to put this on the bulletin board. I'll grab it again. The plane's coming down. Uh, now we're going to old business. Now we have a bid for tree removal on property on Highway 110, known as Mud Park. Uh, I talked to Mr. Bobby Palmer. He was the one that last month was uh, interested in that. He's saying that since everything's so dry right now, when it turns back to wet weather, that he'd be interested in doing that, clearing the park off. But right now, they're on bigger timber, uh, bid is dry weather. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to table this for the tree removal. Can you get the more bid? No. I put it on. I think later on we'll do it. I'll have a second. Motion to a second. I'll be able to wait until it's dry so it ain't that big of an effort. Right. What is it? What is the motion? For the tree removal from Mud Park. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're probably going to do it in uh, November. I think we're in November. We have a motion and a second. And all in favor? Aye. Who's first and second? I'm first at Mark second. Uh, under Mr. Carl Samuel of Madeline Alleyway, located on Henry Street. Uh, Mr. Weller, do you want to make a little comment on this, or we're just further and further being looked into, and it's not come to a final answer yet? Is like uh, anyone else on the speed line first, and then yeah, you know, follow Mr. 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 Samuel, you've got a comment or to make? No, I was just wanting to see if anything is being done about it, any yeah. action being taken. Mr. Mr. Weller is still ongoing process of trying to get this matter resolved. Yes, sir. When we come up with something, you know, you be in contact with us. Yes, sir. Have you ever uh, first uh, approached that individual and asked him would they pull the trailer up a little bit? No, sir. I don't even know where you live. They're not, so living, in, on the they're not living in the trailer? No, no, sir. It's just parked there. Uh, it's a travel trailer just blocking the drive. Maybe we would look to see who we can find out who it belongs to. And, uh, I think it belongs to Mr. Upchurch. That's what I've been told. He works all over the United States and he had just went and got a brand new trial trailer. So that is probably his old trial trailer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Weller, you've got a comment on this or would you like to make a comment? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Weller, you've got a comment on this or would you like to make a comment? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Weller, you've got a comment on this or would you like to make a comment? It ain't got no water line or nothing up there. No, sir. Mr. Lover, you got something to say? As you said, we are uh, continuing to research any kind of abandonment that's happened from Fifth Street or the Alloy. Uh, the research isn't completed yet. Maybe it's just going to take time. And if it's determined that it's not, uh, has not been abandoned for a reason. I think that's going to be something that's more a personal matter between two landowners rather than the town. So if that's, if that's the case, then I don't think it's a problem of ours or something that we would necessarily deal with. However, um, it's just an ongoing process and I think it's going to trying to figure out what has been abandoned, what it's not, and what has been accepted uh, as roadways or outdoors. So, uh, I have a motion just to, this is 
We had one of our offers off the Rick. Michael Rick came in this morning from in his two new presentation. During his absence, could we get somebody to fill that spot full time? I'd like to have Mr. Weaver go in his spot to get somebody from it. You make a motion that we can accommodate that to the real utility and stuff. And I think it's. I know we've talked today with the local commissioner, even though we've got something where he's got to pay back, and we probably have to check with Mr. Weldon there and maybe get a time frame there.
we'll be playing from seven to nine. And uh, I'd say if, if we make a good show, and if it makes us a good show, and that would help us out too. And of course, it's all you know. We don't charge anything to play. So. It's like I like everybody, everybody come over and kind of know a little bit about what's going on with Bobby G's. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's kind of like a it's kind of like a win win situation. I voted great. You know, I thought about that. I had dreamed about that. You got that. Yeah, I'm going to die. I'm going to break it. And now it's like, hey, thanks for working. You get tired of eating your stuff from the students. Or? Shell. That's what I'm saying. Every once in a while, if I'm lucky enough to have to take somebody to the rear after we've walked inside, I can run right down. Yeah. It's a good feeling. That's why it's a blessing to go to the rear. A lot of people probably around here probably have a gun, too. And uh, Jim Meyer, the master of the county, would be one of the guys that played with me. And then a friend of mine right here in there, uh, most of y'all probably don't know, Jerry Mark, and myself. That's, that's who we play. I'll do an excellent job. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. 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 They could still get taller or taller. <laughs> and I thank y'all too for checking around on me because I don't think Michael will always be there for me and I appreciate it. And my dog's not there anymore. We had to put her to sleep. Oh, so no. She's so old, the big one. So she'll let you in to me. <laughs> she's not there. But she wouldn't be for I don't think she would bite anybody, but she stood her ground and showed her teeth to you. She wouldn't let you in close to her. Yeah, good looking set of chocolates to one show the yeah. teeth. Yeah, but, 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 uh, but uh, we don't have her anymore, so. <laughs> She's about that tall and about that wide. Um, yeah. yeah. But she thinks she's going to be doing all that. I'm going to jump on you. Well, 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 but I do appreciate y'all coming by and checking out. I think they did a good job. And if you know of anybody else who needs assistance like that, we can use their names on our list. I probably know several that need it, but they're just too crowded for that. But well, all we can do is go knock on the door. They yes. don't want to say anything. We can always try and walk out. At least we try. I never thought I'd have to use it, but it's good to know they're out there. We need them. I have something to tell you. I have something to tell you. I have something to tell you. I, I changed this. I changed this science. The science on the school members. Yeah. Uh, my different Thursdays, Thursday, and and hey, you know what I mean? Like they, they didn't. Like I take take into account that sometimes yeah. the school school's going in in class on Friday. Mm -hmm. That's like good. <laughs> they are. When did they change? Yesterday? No, they changed on Friday. Friday. Yeah. And also, we got our cell phones up right now. This week here is just a preview call. They get called next week. They're going to start reading about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, you might want to monitor that, that area when school is in session on Friday. Yep. We will. Uh, you said it's just eight days on Friday this year? I think so. I will get you a schedule. I think I counted ten. Yeah, ten. Ten Fridays. Ten Fridays. Oh no, I, I, I stared at it so long today. Yeah. I I mean, to to but signs for the time of school zone is only this Monday through Thursday. How are you going to enforce it on Friday? Well, I'm going to get them on one. Yeah, I'm slow them down. At least we can slow them down. 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 But as people keep their ears on the floor, they can go around the baseball bats and yell about them and things. Oh, yeah, about 20 of them. Well, I don't know. 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 I have a suspect. I've been putting feelers out. I've got a suspect right now. Just trying to locate him. I didn't buy crazy. Yeah, we started having a lot of signs from the mission to the Fridays. Yeah. I got a question. Does Maryville have a curvy time? 
keeping these kids off the streets, because that's where the biggest part of our problems come from. No, sir. Not, not the last. See, if there should be some way we could enforce a curfew for all these kids, get them off the streets by 10 o'clock on the weekdays. Without the curfew, before you can what are you thinking of making about 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock. And on the weekends, 10 o'clock on Friday, Thursday. Friday, Saturday, make it 11 or midnight. Because you see four or five kids walking around here and there all over the place. Who was that said you seen somebody at 3 o'clock one morning? There's three of them. There's four of them walking down 110. At 3 o'clock in the morning, little fellas like that don't have their tails at home. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Well, if they can't keep them off the street, start writing parents up for them. Okay, anything else? Yes, I've got some, Mr. Mayor. Okay. I'm just a little disappointed because, uh, you know, I took time off, you know, my job to come over here, and it's been a month. I think I've been patient. I think I should have some kind of answer. I mean, if this travel trick, if, they, if you don't have nothing to say and they don't have nothing on file saying that access where it's closed, then it should be open. A travel trick shouldn't be blocked. It's not linked up to anything. It's just parked out there blocking access to my property. And I don't, I don't think this is right. I mean, if they got proof that it's closed, then Okay, but if they ain't got nothing to prove, why have to try to try to block an access to my property? I mean, I don't think that's asking too much. Mr. Well, you said he had not made any contact with the landowner? No, I haven't made any. How did you, how did you learn that this was, there was an ordinance? That, that, I went over to, a, I got that letter I showed you where they tempted it, but it was nothing filed over at the courthouse and, and, and the real. He gave you the letter. What's that? He gave you the letter. I think they did over there. If it was going to happen. That there, I gave you a copy of that there. Last time I was here, I gave you a copy of that there. I'm over at Viewer Guard over there at the real. Saying that if they got an ordinance or something closed, they should have a copy. Right. You gave me the notice of an ordinance. Well, all I got is this. Well, you know what? And, and that's what they're saying over here. We'll put you on notice. Who put you on notice? Yeah, of the order. I don't have no notice. I'm saying, how did you learn that there's an ordinance? Who told you you couldn't cross it? Go across the path. Well, it's a travel trailer back in the past. But you haven't thought of it. No, I haven't. Is that something? Should I have to do that? Or the city of Maryville? Seems how Maryville owns the access to uh, alleyway. And it's blocking that alleyway. That leads to my property. I'm mean, checking on those things. But if it was abandoned, the city of Maryville has not not have the church office to build for sure. We're not having to enforce anything. They're not, yeah. they're not enforcing that anything right now. Yeah, but it ain't nothing else in the ground. They had a survey that showing that travel show like one of these access easement. They're talking about the alley. How do you know that way for the only alley? Because this says right side of the alley is another map. You can see it.
No, ma'am, it's just a travel trailer. It's yeah, all the thing you're doing is just yeah. blocking the access to that property. That's all we know. It's not hooked up to anything.